Hey, Drop Tech fans! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some exciting updates about Samsung's One UI 7.0. Despite facing delays, the beta update is finally on its way, and it promises to redefine your smartphone experience with a fresh set of animations, transitions, and a brand new feature that might feel a bit familiar. Curious? Let's dive right in. The long wait for One UI 7.0 beta. First, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, the rollout of the One UI 7.0 beta update has been slower than expected. But according to reliable sources, it's almost here. While the exact release date hasn't been confirmed, the buzz around its features is building excitement for Samsung fans. A new era of animations. Let's talk about the animations and transitions, arguably the most exciting aspect of One UI 7. Ice Universe, a trusted tipster, recently shared some fascinating details. The screen on animation has a soothing wallpaper shrinking effect. Unlocking your phone comes with a satisfying bouncing animation. The pull-down motion introduces a spring-like rebound effect. Opening desktop apps feels smoother, thanks to a new floating style animation. Returning to the desktop, that now includes a sleek icon pattern zoom effect. Samsung has also added a parallel animation for quickly opening multiple apps, a sliding animation for returning apps to the desktop. A press rebound micro animation in settings. Updated UI transitions for widgets, including lock screen music controls. And there's more. Real time notifications in the desktop bar now feature elastic animations, giving the interface a dynamic and polished feel. User feedback will shape the final product. Here's the best part Samsung isn't stopping there. Once the beta launches, these animations and features will be fine-tuned based on feedback from internal test users. So, if you're part of the beta, don't hesitate to share your thoughts with Samsung, it's your chance to help shape the final version. The beta will initially roll out to Galaxy S24 series users in South Korea and the USA. A few days later, other markets, including China, Germany, Poland, and the UK, will follow. Introducing No Bar a game-changing lock screen feature. Now, let's talk about No Bar, Samsung's innovative answer to Apple's dynamic island. Leaked images have given us a glimpse of this exciting feature, and it looks fantastic. With No Bar, Galaxy users can view real-time updates and important information directly on their lock screens. Positioned between the lock screen shortcuts, No Bar features a sleek pill-shaped design, blurred background for enhanced readability, Integration with apps like Samsung Clock's Timer and Voice Recorder. Essentially, think of Android's Call Timer Pill, but taken to the next level. Samsung has polished and expanded this idea to include more dynamic and functional elements. Future app integrations and user control. Currently, Nobar works with stock apps like Clock and Voice Recorder, but there's speculation that third-party apps will also adopt this feature soon. Samsung is also giving users the flexibility to disable no bar if it doesn't fit their style, ensuring you have full control over your lock screen's appearance. There's been a lot of buzz about this update, but so far, we've yet to see the beta officially drop. However, things are starting to move in the right direction, and it seems like Samsung is making significant progress. So, let's break down everything we know so far. Samsung has been the subject of countless predictions about when the One UI 7 beta will finally launch. Despite all the speculation, we're still waiting for it to happen. The company is continuing to work on One UI 7, and while the beta hasn't opened up just yet, there are signs of progress. Recently, the new Galaxy Z Flip 6 was spotted on Geekbench, running One UI 7, which is a pretty strong indication that we're getting closer. Now, it seems Samsung is being a bit more cautious this year with the release of the One UI 7 beta, which will be based on Android 15. The company appears to be focusing on ensuring stability and smooth performance before pushing the beta live, which might explain the delay. But don't worry, recent reports suggest they're actively advancing the development. According to some tips shared on X by R. Terran Vats, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 achieved a single-core score of 1227 and a multi-core score of 5781, making it the first foldable phone to be benchmarked with One UI 7. In addition to this, Samsung has also been updating its stock apps to support One UI 7. One notable update is the Galaxy Themes app, which has now been prepared to work with Android 15. The latest app version, 
6.1.7, is already available on the Galaxy Store, and it's designed to ensure a seamless experience for users once they make the transition to One UI 7. Samsung clearly wants to make sure that all of its stock apps are fully compatible with the new interface so that users don't run into any issues when they upgrade. All of these updates are a clear sign that the release of the One UI 7 beta is on the horizon. Users will soon be able to explore the new features in the beta program, which is expected to begin in early October. And if everything goes smoothly, the stable version of One UI 7 should start rolling out by December. Samsung has a wide variety of devices lined up for this update, including tablets and budget phones. So if you're wondering if your device will be eligible, keep an eye out for the official list of supported devices and the release timeline. All right. That's all for today's update on One UI 7. What are you most excited to see in this upcoming beta? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more updates from Drop Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.